Hey, hey Aquarius, intuitive soul coach here with your June 2023 bonus reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. These are general readings, so please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, Aquarius, how are you doing? We've recently had that full watermelon moon in the sign of Sagittarius, and that Sagittarian energy brought in a lot more optimism, travel, adventure, and momentum. So some of you may be feeling quite spontaneous this month, whether you book that trip, take a road trip, visit family, invite people over to your place. This could be getting out and letting letting loose, whatever that may mean for you. Just having a little bit more fun because things may have felt a little bit too serious or there could have been some tension that was building in relationships or some of you were just overworking and this is the month for you to just feel the joy and feel the magic that life has to offer. I'm also seeing here a broom, a broom and a dustpan. So someone may be sweeping as you're listening to this here, or you may have just put the broom or the dustpan away, or maybe your broom broke and you need to buy a new one. Please take that Aquarius as it resonates. All right, so let's dive in here. We have Libra energy, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Leo, Taurus, Libra, and Cancer. Now you may have some of these placements in your chart. You may be dealing with others who have these placements in their chart, or you Aquarius are just embodying the energies here. So right away we have, keep your heart open with this Libra energy, which is uh, your fellow air sign. And we also have Sagittarius, which that's what the moon was, that full moon. And that's about practicing gratitude. So keeping your heart open. There's change coming in here for you. And I feel a lot of happiness. I'm getting sun vibes. So we'll clarify with the tarot as well. But some of you are keeping your heart open to new adventure, new relationships. This is about forgiving, being able to feel the love all around you. So Aquarius, this is a really powerful month for you to focus not just on self-love, but to open up to receiving love that other people, other places, other things have for you and have to show you at this time. So we'll take a look and clarify what you are keeping your heart open to. But it wouldn't surprise me if a lot of you may be falling in love with a new place, with a new food, with yourself, with some uh, with some energies around you. This could be people. The heart is wide open this month, and this is a really great time to start new things, right? We have that Gemini new moon showing up on the 18th of June, and that is a wonderful time to... to Hit that go button, right? Hit that new moon energy of inviting new things into your world and starting fresh new beginnings. And I feel like you're absolutely already on board. Practice gratitude, okay? Because again, that Sagittarian full moon ushered in a lot more optimism, a lot more positivity and gratitude. So be thankful of all of the things around you, right? Even the negative or the challenging things because they are growth opportunities. Now, the more that you integrate an attitude of gratitude, the more you see opportunities showing up in your world, the more that you're able to experience that flow of love, which you have right above here. So below this, keeping your heart open is full of gratitude. So I'm sensing that there's going to be some major blessings for you this month, Aquarius, when it, whether it shows up in the form of financial blessings, uh, community, friendships, connections, because some of you may have been feeling a little bit isolated, a little bit lonely, and I just feel that your heart is full, your heart is grateful this month. There could be an important conversation that you have with the friends. There could be some sort of mending or healing, but you are very grateful for some sort of experience that you've endured or that you get to have showing up here. And I feel like it ripples. It ripples into not just today and tomorrow's, but your every days after. 
Smack dab in the middle here, we have Unleash Your Kindest Self. So this is mid-June energy, and I love what's below it because you have Leo, which says shine. And this is like the sun card, and it's actually sunflowers. So there could be something. They're actually giving me this song, and I know this has come up in readings before. I'm not sure, Aquarius, if it was for you or not, but the song, You Are My Sunshine. So you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. That could be something that either was saying to you by a loved one. It could be something you've seen to your children, or you may come across a shirt, a sign, a social media post, uh, or just a, a humming. Someone may be humming that as you are walking by. So pay attention because that could be a, a, a message specifically for you. This is a month for you to shine your light. Sunflowers gravitate towards the sun, right? They are constantly magnetized towards what it is that brings them joy and happiness and whatever, uh, you know, beats on them, right? That sunshine that kind of is, is shining on them. They're aligning their soul's truth and their soul's purpose here. And I feel like that's what you're doing. I, I feel like you are unleashing your kind of self and you're going to see that it, it ripples into everything, everyone, and every experience that you have in the month of June. This is really beautiful reading. Aquarius, I love these cards. I'm excited to see the clarifiers. You have this Taurian energy of knowing your worth and you also have Libra again. Know you are loved, right? So know your worth and know you're loved. This is coming in towards mid to end of June. Know your worth, right? When it comes to relationships, know what you deserve and don't settle is what I'm sensing here. When it comes to your career, know that you have not just the potential, but you do have the gifts and the skills and the talents where other people, just like the sunflower, is attracted to the sun, right? Other people could be symbolic for here the the sunflowers and you are the sun where what you hold is magnetized and you're attracting your tribe you're attracting the right people to your energy here so really beautiful know you are loved you're going to be surrounded i feel by by many people this month that let you know that they're grateful and thankful for you being in their life as well Okay, you may hear a compliment. It could be a random stranger. Uh, it could be an act of service that's just beautiful, right? You're so grateful that this person did that, right? Maybe it's something as small as someone paying for your coffee uh, in line ahead, or it could be something as huge as, you know, your, your parents bringing you a sign, right? If they're crossed over. So I do feel here that there is a lot of momentum for you this month. And when it comes to career, a lot of you are breaking through some sort of glass ceiling where you've sat right here for quite some time. And Aquarius, I feel like you absolutely know that you are supported and that you are loved. There's proof of it happening, whether it's in the form of a raise because people know your worth, right? It could be a promotion. It could be a new offer. Uh, if you are a business owner, you may get an influx of new clients. There could be tips being offered here, gifts. Uh, I'm getting here kind words. So just the beautiful, gosh, this is wonderful. Now we also have... Maybe what you don't see coming or a primary focus here in the month of June is this Cancerian energy, which is all about relaxation. And it's interesting because we head towards that Cancer season on the 22nd as well. So towards the end of the month, you may have a little bit more downtime to travel, to read a book, go sit out on your porch in your rocking chair or lay in a hammock. Uh, this could be a road trip or just spending time with loved ones, maybe near the beach or in the mountains, whatever relaxing means for you. Maybe it's cooking up a scrumptious dinner and, and hosting and seeing other people enjoy uh, your food, or it could be having someone else cook for you, right? Being able to uh, just sit back and relax while someone else makes the dinner, whether at home or in a restaurant or somewhere else. But this is about you being able to just relax because I feel like you have been uh, at times feeling a little bit uptight, feeling anxious. I'm getting stress in the shoulder area. This would be a really great month for a massage, energy work. I'm, I'm seeing here, and this is wonderful if you're able to do this, but I'm, get, I'm seeing here an outside massage. So whether you've booked maybe a spa trip and you're outside, maybe this is a beach massage, you know, near the ocean so you can hear the waves. When, doesn't that sound delicious? Uh, for others of you, 
maybe you're sitting around a bonfire or a campfire with your family and maybe you're getting a good foot rub here, but this is a time for you to relax and just let the world kind of flow around you where you are in that peaceful place, right? Grateful, thankful, blessed is one of my favorite mantras that I say numerous times throughout the day. And that's what I feel you are feeling in the month here of June. So let's clarify. Let's take a look. What is this Libra in energy? I mean, you have double Libra here about keeping your heart open and knowing your worth. So let's take a look at what is it that you are keeping your heart open to and how can we help you keep that heart open more? Even though there's been challenges at times. Yeah. Healing for sure. A lot of you are healing from something that was toxic. I'm getting here. Some of you may have been around, uh, or this was yourself, or you grew up, or it could be a child or a family member, addiction, substance abuse specifically. Uh, but for others of you, this devil energy can be fears. Uh, it can be addictions, obsessions, manipulations, materialism, it can be social media, right? Anything we attach ourselves to, whatever we condition ourselves to. Because the devil is so close to the lovers, the only difference is the lovers is unconditional, the devil is conditional, right? And it's attachments, where the lovers is more of that free-flowing. So there could be something that you've attached yourself to. It could even be money for some of you, King of Pentacles. It could be that you've uh, broken away or been hurt by an earth sign as well, or you just didn't feel like you had your stability, right? Stability, whether it's financial stability, it could be a reliable partnership, it could be abundance, prosperity. I'm getting here that you're not afraid of hard work. You absolutely aren't afraid of hard work, but this is time for you to rest, okay? Rest, because something may have become too toxic for you. Some of you were absolutely overworking, or there could be someone that entered your world that you weren't able to trust like you would have liked to, and you're healing from a situation. Luckily, though, the Four of Swords shows up after the Three of Swords, so I feel like what's been done has been done. Now it's time to open your heart back up after a time of, you know, releasing or going through something where you had to reclaim your power, right? Something that felt a little bit too much at times, but you're rebuilding. You absolutely are. You'll get back to where you were and some, right? One of my favorite sayings as well is the comeback is always stronger than the setback. So whatever set you back with this devil energy here, Aquarius, you're actually going to come back in a powerful, powerful new light. And there's also, I'm getting here, uh, maturity. There's growth and maturity from a situation. You've learned, you've evolved, and there's something that you'll never repeat again, okay? And that's important for you to, to understand here. There's a lesson or a karmic cycle or a situation that you have endured that you will not repeat again. Okay, let's take a look here. You're keeping your heart open, which you could see there with the Four of Swords. She was laying right next to her heart, but I feel like you are opening up, practicing gratitude here. Let's take a look and see what is coming in. What's all this sun energy about? This sunshine, right? You are my sunshine. Some of you need to know you're protected and divinely directed here, redirected. You are my sunshine. Yeah, I love this. We have the Ten of Wands carrying those heavy burdens, but now you're ready to release, right? And I just got major goosebumps here, but this 10 of wands can be about taking on so much, right? Releasing those burdens, prioritizing, eliminating things that just aren't in alignment with your soul's highest good. That's why you had that devil, because you're getting rid of those things. However, you may have grown accustomed to being in that environment, being in that energy for quite some time that you had to find out who you were without that attachment. And that can be difficult. But the Ten of Wands is about you feeling exhausted where you know it's time to bring in others to lighten the load or for you not to take on other people's stuff, right? Because the Ten of Wands can also be a Mr. or Mrs. Fix-It. They try to help everyone else out, but in return, they, they lack, right? They are filling everybody else's cup, but then when it comes time to take a sip of their own, there's nothing left and they feel depleted. No more of that for you, Aquarius, because... That wheel is spinning, right? Destiny is intervening. You've learned a very important lesson or cycle. When the wheel of fortune shows up, this is about a turning point in your life. This is about no longer repeating that cycle. 
This is change, chance, good luck, fortune, right? Destiny and fate intervening to bring you happiness. Four of wands, beautiful. So the four of wands can be celebrations, 1111 energy, which is manifestation, right? Snapshot of whatever it is you want. It's kind of the universe saying, okay, what is your vision? What do you want to manifest here in this earthly realm? Or what do you want on an emotional, physical, uh, mental, whatever it may be for you. But the Four of Wands is about a ceremony, an, an award, a holiday, halfway to marriage. It could be celebration of a new home. It could be communal achievement. It could be a vacation. Whatever this is here for you, the wheel is spinning and it's time for you to hop on. So what a wonderful clarifier because you have that sun, sun energy. So you are, you are my sunshine. All right, unleash your kindest self. Let's take a look here. You could also be, you're putting out good karma because you're getting it in return. So remember that that coffee example that we gave earlier? So maybe someone pays, pays it forward. I feel like you're paying it forward and you're seeing it coming back to you. Maybe you've done this already in the past. Maybe you've put energy in, you've put out the good karma. Now you're gonna be paid forward. Uh, I also sense that, you know, again, what goes around comes around. And so that's that wheel of fortune energy. You're you're putting out kindness. You're receiving it in return. Let's clarify what this is all about. King of Cups, Temperance, Six of Cups. Beautiful. Look at all this cup energy. Some of you have had to wait. Some of you have been really working on emotional maturity, maybe finding your King of Cups, your love, right? This can be about revisiting a past experience, maybe healing something from the past, some childhood wounding. This can be father energy for some of you. But the Six of Cups is about a second chance, right? It is about those sweet childhood memories, yearning for the good old days. It is about small acts of kindness, which is clarifying, unleashing your kindest self. Look at that, the Six of Cups there, he is being kind to that puppy, right? And this is a blast from the past energy where now that he's a mature, uh, adult, he's also still has that trusty, loyal dog. So there's something about, you know, being true to you, being true to yourself, being kind. I mean, some of you, this can actually be a dog or a pet that you've had for quite some time as well because I'm getting timing here. So something's been a work in progress here that's leading to this King of Cups, which I love to see here. Now the King of Cups is someone who's very loving and very supportive. This King of Cups is emotionally intelligent. He's patient, which we see here. You've mastered or are continuing to master the art of patience. And that's a very difficult thing to do here on earth. But I feel if anyone can do it, it's you, Aquarius. Now we also have here, I feel like some of you are heading towards becoming a healer. You already are a healer. This could be a doctor around you. Maybe it's a childhood concern maybe that you've had for quite some time or something that's issued, uh, been, been integrated since childhood. You could be working with a doctor, a therapist, a coach, a mentor, uh, or you've become this yourself because you've always had this ability since you were a child and you've been working your way towards it ever since. The King of Cups is very in touch with their emotions. So I do feel for you, if there was a point in your life where you had to learn how to get in touch with your emotions, this is the month that it's at its peak, Aquarius, really is at its peak. So wow, oh, I'm just, what a beautiful reading. I'm almost towards the end. There's one more left after you. And I would say here that out of all the readings, your heart is wide open. And I feel like you haven't felt this way for quite some time. This is just so beautiful. I'm loving the vibration. I'm loving the energy. I'm loving what's surrounding you this month. So let's take a look at know your worth, know you are loved. Yeah. Yeah. Because some of you held on so tightly, right? You, you put up some walls, put up some barriers with the four of pentacles. You withheld affection because you didn't want to be hurt, or maybe you didn't want to be judged or criticized, or maybe you didn't feel like there was anyone uh, worthy or yourself being worthy, right? Because that's what we're clarifying, knowing your worth and knowing you're loved. You held it in, right? You held it all in. And maybe now you're opening your emotions up to a brand new experience, a, a brand new uh, eclipse of the heart, right? They're giving me that song, a total eclipse of the heart. So when this four of pentacles shows up, 
You're no longer hanging on so tightly to some sort of wounding, some sort of pain, trauma, or affections or emotions that have scarred you. This is about you opening up a little bit more. And I feel like you're opening up a lot. And you're going to see that the second you open up, it almost comes in like a dam, right? That's what I'm seeing here is it's, it's like there's been a dam that's been held up within the heart chakra here. And now that you're removing some of those pieces, it's like whoosh, that water comes in because it's been building up and it's hard sometimes to receive and to give when we have that dam built up here so get ready because something's pulling you out of this uh, energy and I feel like it's you you've been doing the work on yourself of course but you're gonna know your worth and it's gonna put a big smile on your heart I love it whoa all right so clarify the relax card right relaxation here you have two cards coming out beautiful Ace of Pentacles and Knight of Pentacles. Wonderful. So this is going to allow you to maybe relax in a new setting, a new environment, a new space. Some of you could be decluttering, redoing your home, moving. There could be a new financial opportunity available to you, but you're tapping into your unlimited potential. Now, Knight of Pentacles is someone who does relax, right? He's the, the lowest key type of knight that there is, right? He reminds me, he's the Matthew McConaughey of all the knights. He is the, the slow and steady wins the race, right? He is laid back. He's carefree. He goes with the flow. He rolls his pants up. He's barefoot. He has this trusty horse behind him and he's just free flowing, right? Not a care in the world. And I feel like that's the energy here that you're finally in, but it's not a rush. It's not a rush to get to that finish line because there's a new beginning. And some of you have, there's a big burden that finally you've released. And that is allowing you to have a new beginning in the physical world here. But also there could be a gift. There could be an inheritance. This may have to do with your success, your wealth, your health, your career. And again, I'm getting just this big weight off your shoulders and it's offering you a new new pentacle, right? A new cup, or excuse me, a new, <laughs> well, maybe a new cup, right? A new cup, but this is a, a beautiful offering coming your way and it's gonna allow you to feel more relaxed as well. Wonderful energy here, Aquarius. Now let's take a look and see which crystal mineral, fossil, or gemstone you can utilize in the month of June to help you towards your highest good. What do we have here? Oh, we have mookite. And it's interesting. I have to tell you this, Aquarius, because ever since I started your reading here, Spirit has been highlighting mookite that's been sitting in this bowl. And now I know why, because this is mookite and this is mookite as well. It doesn't have the reds that this has, but you can see this murky type of orangish energy, which mookite is a very powerful stone. It's card 36. Now, some of you may be 36 years old. You may be born on the third, sixth, or ninth, or you are seeing that number sequence, three, six, nine. I believe that's a very powerful uh, sequence as well. So let's take a look here. This is all about risk. It's about adventure, new experiences, exploring the unknown territory and claiming your personal power. Beautiful. Hello, Sagittarian full watermelon moon. That, that is the vibe that that ushered in. So no wonder that you're feeling this extra. The seemingly safe road is not the one to take right now, for your soul is on a path of healing and wants you to experience fulfillment and joy. Mukite Jasper is here to tell you that life is meant to be lived. So be adventurous now. Don't hold back to protect yourself from getting hurt. That's that Four of Pentacles, right? We hold ourselves back. Sometimes even that Knight of Pentacles that was showing up here as far as relaxing, Sometimes that Knight of Pentacles doesn't take risks, right? They're too cautious. This is telling you to live a little. Don't hold back to protect yourself from getting hurt, for this crystal has appeared to encourage you to take the leap, take the risk, and draw confidence from knowing you have the universe as your ally. Let go of your worries and your old beliefs about the dragons that await you if you dare to step out of the unknown. Risk taking is required now and you are fully supported in saying no to playing it safe. Mukite Jasper's message is that the adventure before you is one of discovery and wondrous gifts await you. New ideas, new partners, new experiences, and new possibilities for achieving what you desire. Be bold and venture forth. I love this for you. 
What a wonderful confirmation here as well of what's going on, new excitement, sun energy, you're feeling magnetized. So when it does come to relationships, all relationships evolve by healing old patterns that may have blocked you from experiencing relationships as deeply nourishing and joy giving. You are also evolving. Do not look at the old maps of where you have been or talk about how things will always be the way they were in the past. The future is full of possibilities. That's that Ace of Pentacles for you, Aquarius. You are transforming in this moment, becoming the person you need to be to have the relationships that you desire. You are called to banish fear as you sail forth into the unfamiliar seas. You can trust yourself now for you have learned so very much. Now, when this comes to career, wealth, and money, adventure beckons. So unfurl your sails and let yourself venture forth. Mukite Jasper assures you that the risks you are tempted to take right now are calculated ones, for you are willing to have the universe as your co-pilot. Mindfully enter into the unfamiliar territory of a healthy, balanced relationship with money in abundance, or into playing the odds when you have been taught to always play it safe. You are being asked to let go of the fears that have held you back for far too long, and instead work with the universe. Universe, whose plan is to give you a firm foundation of abundance. I love this. Now, Mukite Jasper, for those of you that have this crystal or you can meditate uh, with the energy of Mukite here, this can help us heal old wounds by allowing us to review our experiences from a new perspective. And that's interesting because the, the hanged man has been showing up for a lot of signs this month. So planetary alignments are bringing in change, a lot of change here. This allows us revision of our old stories and helps us recognize that everyone is doing the best they can with what they know at this time. This is an excellent stone to bring light and healing to the darkness of childhood wounds. And we see the six of, uh, six of cups. So it could be childhood wounds that you are working through at this time. So for those of you that do struggle with some childhood wounding, Mukite Jasper, uh, excuse me, Jasper may be the stone for you. Loving your reading, Aquarius. Loving the vibrations. I love the change that's coming in. Keep that heart open. It's no longer time for you to, to lock that heart up. It's time for you to keep it open because a lot of love is coming your way. A lot of abundance and prosperity that maybe you haven't felt like you've been able to tap into for quite some time is upon you. Thank you so much for being here and tuning in, Aquarius. If you like this reading, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. It certainly helps get the divine channel messages out there to those that need it most. If you haven't already hit that subscribe and bell button and you are vibing with the energy of this channel, please feel free to do so. Thank you so much for being here. Lots of love.